Welcome back. As I mentioned earlier, the DNA is a substance that stores and replicates genetic information. The sequence of DNA is a blueprint for the design of proteins. The production of proteins begins with the conversion of DNA into the messenger RNA, mRNA here. The, this process is called transcription. An enzyme called RNA polymerase converts DNA into messenger RNA. The messenger RNA is a carrier. It brings genetic information to proteins. Then this process is called translation. The translation machinery, the called ribozyme, um, can convert messenger RNA into the proteins right here. So let's take a look at the structure of RNA. Here's the structure of RNA. RNA is a copy of one strand of DNA. As I mentioned earlier, DNA has a double strand structure. The one strand is copied to messenger RNA. In RNA, a, G, C are copied, while T is replaced with uracil. Here's a structure of uracil here. It's different from thymine in DNA structure. Here's the structure of thymine. If you look at the structure of thymine and the structure of uracil, the methyl structure is missing in, methyl structure is missing in uracil. Then uh, that the sequence of bases in RNA determines the configuration of amino acids in proteins. But what RNA sequences encode what amino acids? 1961, Dr. Marshall Ninenberg and Dr. Heinrich Mattei discovered that UUU is the code for phenylalanine. The here is Dr. Ninenberg in 2003, and here is a picture of Drs. Ninenberg and Mattei in 1961. The, but how did they discover the code for phenylalanine? So they prepared poly-U, which is a synthetic RNA composed only of uracil. So that's U, 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 U. That they put it into cell extract. It's cell extract. To see what kind of amino acid would be incorporated into proteins. So they analyze the protein uh, fra uh, fra uh, fraction here. And at the 3 p.m. on May 27, 1961, they found that PolyU directed the incorporation of phenylalanine into proteins. Before these experiments, people knew that a triplet or three bases encodes an amino acid. There are 20 different kinds of amino acid. But we, we have only four bases in RNA. The coding units could not be single because uh, four bases would be able to encode only four amino acids. The coding units could not be pairs. Uh, you would have only 16 combinations. But three nucleotide units 
could give you 64 possible combinations. So this is enough to encode all of the 20 different amino acids. So the three nucleotide units should be the coding unit of genetic code. So that's why UUU is the code for phenylalanine. By creating a set of polynucleotides composed of only A or only C. Now, Dr. Sneedenberg and Matei discovered that AAA is a code for lysine. And CCC is a code for proline. This is phenylalanine. That this discovery triggered a series of findings uh, concerning genetic codes. So these findings were summarized into the theory that each amino acid can be expressed by a three nucleotide RNA code. Here is a genetic code table. The table shows the relationships between the three letter sequences of RNA and amino acids. The production of uh, proteins start with the sequence AUG, where's AUG? AUG here, right here. So AUG um, is methionine and ends with the sequence UAA, UAG, or UGA. So doctors Marshall Niedenberg, Robert Hawley, and Harb Gobin Korana share the 1968 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for this interpretation of the genetic code. In the next video clip, I will tell you about the achievement of Dr. Korana, who is a chemist.